And that guy was not that difficult. Don Diego was a pussy. Okay, grab those. Can I walk through the candles? I can, good. Hey, what the fuck is that? <laughs> no, bubbles! <laughs> oh, I made the cauldron cry. <laughs> the fuck is all this? This is not looking good. Does this guy got anything on him? There's a lot of secrets in this game. I did see somebody that actually knew what they were doing playing the game, and I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Just like, there's a secret here, there's a secret here. I'm like, how the fuck did you find this shit out? Just spray and pray, I guess? Like, he would hit, like, certain trees. Just, oh, man. I have no idea what I'm doing. I readily admit that. Oh, those aren't candles anymore. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. We're still in chapter five, aren't we? You know, you, you tease me with all these candles here that I can d go through, and then all of a sudden you're like, fuck you. Here's spikes. Okay, cauldron cry for me. That okay, guy's useless. Okay, just gotta work fast. And then we, we've got like heat seeking bubbles here. Whatever the crap that's about. Okay, so we dealt with that. I don't know where I can go. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful here. Oh, super. I don't even have to press up to, to get on the chains. I don't, I, to be honest, I don't like that. I would rather have to press up. Oh, super. The heat-seeking bubbles while I'm on the chain. Don't ask me how I made that. Fuck you. Yeah, I have to fight you. Come on, get him! Get him! Get him before everything melts away! Is he dead? Jeez, what the fuck? How? How, game? How? Who didn't see that coming? Fuck you, game. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This game does not does not play around. Uh, you want to know the worst part about this? What I went up to look up things about the game because I you know I had to look up how to beat level five <laughs> so I'm sitting here going it just looped on me oh, God. so I looked at they're like oh this game is kind of easy compared to ghosts and goblins <laughs> for those of you that were playing the games on the original Nintendo that this game is uh, gets a lot of inspiration from you probably won't like how easy it is I'm like oh fuck you uh, you know, he, he listed some things that were legitimate, you know, like, um, that you had infinite continues. Really? Really? Okay, uh, that's a legitimate thing to say, but, to be honest, I, you know, not many people beat Ghosts and Goblins without, you know, some sort of continue hack. I, you know what I mean? I'm sure there's a lot more people that that beat the game using game, ge game genie or some shit like that. I'm just... God, I don't want that, though. I, I think I'm screwed out of it, though. I think I'm just plain screwed now. I don't think I can make it out of here. Oh, wait. There's, there's, like, meat in here. Yeah. Hey, I didn't even need it. Nice. Well, to live, I still need it. Okay. Oh, come on! That did... Fuck you. <laughs> Game, seriously! What the hell? Maldita Castilla is kicking my ass. I'm not afraid to say it. I, this game is better than me. But I still plan on making it to the end. That's not going to stop me from beating you. You will not best me, but you are better than me. And I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that... I can play this game a lot better than me. Fucking A. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. And I can't hit him through there. Of course, the bubbles can go right on through. Forgot about the spikes. God. <laughs> now I'm just getting sloppy. 
like I said, this game is a lot about memorization. And I, I can't say that I like games that are built that way. Hate you, game. <laughs> I, you know, I don't like games that are built around you just... Not necessarily getting better at the game, but just memorizing where certain traps are, how to defeat certain enemies the best way possible. I don't necessarily like games that are built like that. Like that bubble. What was I supposed to do about that bubble? Once it spawned and I was already in the air, there was nothing for me to do. I know, I'm a little unfair to this game, and I did get better at it. A lot better at it. You know, I went, I, I beat the first four levels with just one continue. If I were to do it again, I might be able to get through it without a single continue. You know? But that's because I have the game memorized. And that's not necessarily me getting better at the game, it's just knowing what's going to happen before it happens. And there is a difference. Let's grab that. Yeah, that bubble. I cannot hit that bubble when it when he spawns it and it goes right around and hits me. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, so this one. Damn you! And la I landed there before. That's how I got down there. Now they're not letting me do it anymore. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> You know, I thought I was getting better at the game, but I, I knew that once once I got back to some stuff that I had not seen before, it would it would definitely be a lot more difficult than it was for me when I had, you know, memorized it. And I have pretty much memorized the rest of the game. Uh, not necessarily secrets, but at least enemies and stuff like that. I would actually start throwing stuff, uh, throwing weapons at things that weren't on screen yet because I just knew. I knew it was coming. I hit, I hit quite a few enemies that way. Okay. That doesn't hold anything for me this time. I didn't mean to jump that high. Uh, see, this is just what I mean about memorization. I just know. I just know what's coming. And then stand up to get that last one. He falls kind of funny, to be honest with you. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Alright, got you. And there we go. They do come at you like straight. Um, like a parabola. <laughs> they do have a parabolic chase pattern to me. Yeah, there's a lot of geometry in this game. Nope. Oh my god, I almost killed myself in the most stupid way I knew how. Okay, here we go. Down here. And then the question becomes, what to do here? Okay. There. Okay, what I need to do is just do as much as I can from about here. You've got to be kidding me. I'm shooting straight up constantly, but the, the bubbles don't come tr straight down. <laughs> ah, just being stupid. Okay, down he goes. Didn't launch the second bubble. Then get this guy over here. Get the bubbles. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> Wait for the parabola so that I can hit it. Yeah. There we go. Got you. Let's get the fairy. I would like that fairy. Got you before you launch the one that I can't avoid. Over, over. I could use this. And now for the part that I'm still not sure what the proper technique is here. Yeah, I just have to keep running? Wow. I, d I seriously don't know how to legitimately get down there. I think I found a glitch, to be honest with you. And I can't I can't even get to the part where I was before. Alright, hit the bubble, it comes out. Ugh. 
wasn't fast enough, so he spawned the next one. Drop down twice, hit this guy over here four times. Yes, I know exactly how many it takes to kill these guys now. I kind of backed myself into a corner with that one. There's four. Jump across, hit that, give me the fairy. And that's what this game becomes. And that's the unavoidable one! He spawns it right next to me. I can't duck under it. I can't do anything about it. Alright, give me that. Wait for that so I can jump over it. Come down. Oh, it still hit me. It's bullshit. And I don't jump off of that. I don't jump off that one. I fall. I still think that's a glitch that I'm even able to get down there. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to get down there. Maybe that is the real way, and the game really is that dickish, and I'm supposed to land on that tiny little spot. Ugh. That's entirely possible now in this game. Alright, that one, that one. There we go. Wait for the parabolas. Hit that. There we go. Perfect. Give me the fairy. Drop down. Hey, he was far enough away for me to be able to hit that. Okay. Perfect through here. Don't need to get that treasure chest. Wait for both of these. Then jump over here. You've got to be kidding me. How did he not grab that? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, so much bullshit in this game. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> No, I'm not saying that, like, to be honest with you. Wow, this is this is the worst run I've done in a while. There's no way, yeah, I might as well just die now, get the continue and move on. That was awful. Uh, to be honest with you, this is, this is roughly the same amount of trouble that I have with Ghosts and Goblins, except that instead of, uh, instead of continues, I'd be using save states. Couldn't run away fast enough from that one. But outside of that, this is pretty much the same difficulty. Uh, it, if you want to put it in terms of, you know, actually legitimately beating the game, then of course this is a lot easier. But that's just the nature of, um, of video games lately. They have made games easier on purpose and, and very easy to beat. In the Nintendo game days, I wouldn't necessarily say that beating a game was uh, th the most important thing. You know, I knew a lot of people that never saw the end of Mario, for instance. Okay. Uh, jump there. Yes. Okay. Back here. And that wasn't seen as, you know, a horrible thing that they never saw the end of Mario. You've got to be kidding me. Just keep on hitting it. Okay, there we go. And I beat it fast enough so that I can make it through the door. Finally, new territory. Give me meat. That's not meat. Thank you, meat. Weapon. Weapon. Very nice. Give me the scythe. That means we're going to have a boss fight. Who the fuck are you? You worship the devil, whoever you are. It's Mora! Maura, or whatever her name is. She's a mid-boss, though, clearly. Because I am not having too much difficulty with her. No, wait, she, we already had the mid-boss. Fuck! <laughs> Come on, that should be it. That should be it. There we go. Down she goes. There's no way. And now she's naked. And now she's a naked snake. There we go. Okay. That would explain why I was having such an easy time with her. <laughs> down to no upgrades, but that's okay. Because I have her pattern down somewhat. She has a little bit of a pattern. She is, there is some randomness to it, though. No. Actually, there isn't. Oh, come on. Now, now I got way too many snakes to deal with. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hit the snakes the first time they come out. <laughs> okay. Okay. This isn't this isn't too bad. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the snake form just yet. But she's got, what? 
two fireballs and then jump with the snakes. Yeah. Same pattern. No. Ah, shit. <laughs> she did switch it up. Fuck, I do have to crouch to hit the snakes, though. I haven't hit her in a long time. Stop launching the fucking snakes. This was a lot easier with the fairy. Fuck. The fucking snakes! Yeah, just what? Ugh, God. She is a lot tougher without that fucking fairy. The fairy does make things a lot easier. Uh, I assume the axe would too, actually. Or those chain balls? I haven't used the chain balls in a long time, though. I need to do as much damage as I can here. Oh, come on! God, I jumped right into that. No! And then instant jump. Mmm! God, she is tough! She is a lot tougher than I had thought! Fairy made things way too easy for me, apparently. We got this, though. We got this. And then jump with the snake. Okay, one more hit. God, she stopped right when I was gonna jump over her. And then she keeps on jumping. Ah! I can't jump over her as hard as I try! Alright, get naked in for me, baby. Turn into a snake so I can try to figure out your pattern there. Come on. What the fuck? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Did you see how many snakes came out of that fucking... <laughs> oh, God, it's going to come out of all five, like, pentagram sides, even though it's... Well, it's a pentagon. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think. I'm trying to kick ass. Oh, now you change your pattern. I see how it is, Mora. Maura. Okay. So that made that was a lot easier. Just gotta bum rush it. All right. I can't do that much damage, but at least I can dodge fireballs. God, that was close. Okay. So the strategy is much like the. Man How did I not hit that guy? How did I not hit that snake? <sighs> okay, snake strategy is very similar to the Mendoza strategy. Just hang out on the far left and hope and pray. <laughs> this strategy, however, is a little different. Fucking hey. God. <laughs> I'm just, I might as well give up now. No, God. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. She turns around and fires at me. She's intelligent. Of course she is. There isn't a single Nintendo game that I can think of where an enemy would do that. I swore that was going to be perfect. But no. Not this game. Not Maldita Castilla. They have advanced AI. <laughs> nice. Ah! Fuck. Nope, come on. How the hell am I hitting both of them like that? I guess I won't complain, but... Okay, yeah, hit her, and the snakes disappear. And on the far left. We got this. We got this. Okay. Okay, now snakes are coming out again. Fuck. Come on. <laughs> no. Okay, we, we're, we're getting there. We only got one life. One, one hit left. But she's only got two hearts. Oh, I can duck underneath it! Yes! Down she goes! <laughs> Down she goes! You better give me that fucker! <laughs> Forgotten Castile! Oh, God. 
Now, I was told that if I, like, crouched under that, uh, the cross thing, that I'd get a power-up. I've never gotten that to work. The gaze of Lucifer. Not Lucifer, Lucifer. It can only be opened with five Maura's tears. I got one. Damn. So, is, is that it? That's not the ending, is it? I guess it is! But, yeah, that's the worst ending in the game. One that I readily accept that I knew that was gonna happen. I need five Mora's Tears in order to get that. Mora's Tears, Mora's... I don't know how to say her name. Haven't made that clear enough yet. But, that is the game! I was only one level away, but god, that was one hell of a level! Um... Maura was one tough bitch. Uh, <laughs> but overall, like, I love, I like this game. It was... Yeah, special thanks to you for playing until the end. You are welcome. This was a tough game. Uh, so, yeah, see you in the next adventure. <laughs> if you make it a little easier, that'd be appreciated. But I do like, I do like difficult games from time to time, but... Uh, that was that was difficult. Oh, we got more. My king, the witch has fallen, but the key it's missing. You should send your whole army out to get it. Poor Ramiro, your crusade has been in vain. Ramiro, you are no chair thrower, Lopez. What? Oh shit! Do I have to fight the king? I am fully ready to fight this guy if I have to. No. But that is the end. Question mark! <laughs> so that is the worst ending in the game, and that's probably the only one that I'll ever be able to unlock. <laughs> so, that is going to do it for these parts of Maldita Castilla. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Yeah, I know it's a new high story. <laughs> Thanks for watching.